Hello everyone, I have a new board and uh, before I get into the couple boring details about it, we'll uh, play with it. It's a multicolored board versus uh, the old board. I'd recognize this one from the last video. This is all white. These are multicolored. All right, those are all the different modes. First one was a kind of experiment for a, like a chess board. I'll use a tea candle and several bottles of Tylenol to kind of illustrate. Alright, now we're going to test different things, uh, like my knife. My kitchen knife is a great, it's a great thing to test because being metal it's kind of reflective and the handle being black and not reflective will kind of tell you, show you some differences. Obviously the blade does really well, handle not so well. We'll also try empty beer chalice. And a beer chalice. It's not empty. And a mug for good measure. And why not a beer bottle? Beer bottle being pretty dark, even though it's glass, just doesn't really do much. And why not a bottle of tequila? Even though it has a blue bottom, it's still not reflective enough to give us much feedback. That's not to say all black things or dark things won't work. Got a notebook. Backwards well and put that down. Still works, even though it's a dark color. All right, this uh, mode right now is just uh, basically different levels of sensing different colors are increased or decreased at different rates. So if I have my hand here and leave it there for a little while, and trigger these and come away real quick you'll see red because the red comes in faster but after you give green a while to build up that's how I wrote it it'll finish off with green instead of red and blue just kind of you know kind of in the middle
This is a piece of uh, plexiglass, P95 plexiglass, that one side is has a texture to it and the other side, I uh, actually took a uh, mouse sander too with a fine grit and so it kind of made the same kind of texture on both sides as anything really opaque won't, won't really work so well. You have to get really close or it just won't work at all. Alright, you can see there's uh, different Alright, here's one board. I can see the infrared flashing away. Now, the same as uh, every other board, you know, 16 little pixels. But these have, instead of one, you know, instead of like a, a couple of the same colors, you got, you know, four blue. Four green and four red. Now there are three TLC 5940 LED drivers, one per color, and then one driver for the infrared LEDs, and then one AT Mega 48 controller to control one board. This is my board. I put a lot of extra components than I really needed. Big difference. There's this board. There are four quad op amps, whereas one board on here only has one dual op amp. All the signals coming in from you know, all the different sensors just come to one op amp basically to condition the signal a bit. Whereas on the old board, all of the, each pixel signal was conditioned by its own op amp. So it just basically reduced the amount of components by a little bit. Um, what else? Reset it. The last thing I want to address is, uh, the random flashing is due to the, uh, one board pixel maybe, you know, measuring and then the other board kind of picking it up. It's kind of hard to get around. I tried and uh, I ran out of patience. Now, what the camera will pick up, which we can't see, is this kind of, that f crazy flashing when it goes from like a kind of a dim color to a full brightness is like we can't see it. Fl it's, it's, it's smooth. You see it in person, but the camera picks up you know that at different times, whatever its frame rate is or whatnot, it uh, if it's like mid brightness, I suppose it, the camera's taking a picture when maybe the LEDs is is on in the middle of it, like a 50% duty cycle, and then then the next frame is with it turned off with the LED, the same LED turned off because that's how the LEDs are bright or dim; they turn on and off really fast. So as or right, like right there is really bad. You know, it wouldn't look like that in real life. If you were looking at it in person, it would seem really smooth. Now, one thing though, it's not as bright as the camera is making out to be because the camera is dimming the surround 
and making this artificially look brighter than it really is. See, that's, you wouldn't see that in person, that's, that's garbage. And same as the last one, incandescent lights, all dead, doesn't work. These little infrared sensors, the same as on the old board, you know, the same problem. Can't get around that light. Fluorescent is no problem whatsoever. Incandescent though, just not going to work. All right, well. I'd say that's about all I have to offer right now. I appreciate you guys watching. I don't know what the next one is going to be. I think I'm going to work on something else. Uh oh. And this last mode doesn't really isn't really that impressive. But I figured I'd show you. Alright, thanks guys!